we Nigerians don't have culture because we try to emulate the life of the Westerners. We try to live their lives, neglecting our culture, neglecting our own way of life. It's so pathetic. It's so shameful. Just leave all those ones so that I'm speaking. Please, how do you guys do it? All these people that fake accent and fake their lives. How do you guys do it? <laughs> because it is it's not just good for me. Oh. It's not good for me. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> so, so guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you're highly welcome. Please consider subscribing and joining the family. And if you're my old returning subscriber, you're highly welcome. Thank you for coming and thank you for joining me today in today's video. So in today's video, I will quickly address this whole English saga. English language saga that I've been on in regards to Fantastic Fables. Um, last second to the last video i think so um it's about someone trolling her one of her videos um about her english saying her english sucks and all that <sighs> really and from the look of things it's like this particular person or this particular persons <laughs> these persons <laughs> has been they've been following her for a long time and realize that fantastic people is not from any English speaking country, neither is she living in any English country, and she's not an English teacher. Neither is, she. is her channel all about teaching English. Her channel is all about family, food, and faith. So, how do you expect her, for Christ's sake, to start speaking English with American accent? How does it work? She's not from America. She's not living in America. For Christ's sake, she's living in Italy. And Italy is a non-English speaking country. So, I don't understand. Because I can't basically relate. I don't get it. So, you want people to go as far as faking the accent? Faking the language? Come off it. Now, we don't have English speaking country. She is from Nigeria. And Igbo at that. She grew up in in Nigeria. It's not like she grew up in any English speaking country. She grew up in Nigeria and came down to Italy that is a non speaking English speaking country. For Christ's sake, English is not our language. English is not our language. It's not our first language. It's not because we Nigeria is colonized by British and we find ourselves speaking English. If we are able to even speak little that someone out there can understand. If not that our country has so many languages, we have so many languages. It's so diverse that we have so many languages and cultures that the major language we use to communicate is English. And broken, yeah, pidgin English. Pidgin English to me should even be our second language. Apart from your native language, yeah. The next language should be broken. Because Pidgin English, <laughs> I know if I say broken, some people might not understand what I'm saying. But if you're Nigerian, you still understand. Like this is for other Africans or blacks out there in this. Pidgin should be our second language. Because Pidgin is a language that I know that is generally, will I say generally accepted, or will I say that is easy for everyone to understand, as well as say Nigeria. So even knowing how to speak English is a bonus. So it's not a do or die affair. But on a serious note, that is why we don't have culture anymore. We emulate everything the Westerners are doing. We try to live their life, neglecting our culture, neglecting our own way of life. Even we go as far as um, criticizing and putting our fellow Nigerians or fellow Africans down just because they cannot speak or act the way the Westerners are doing. And this 
has been on and worst those days these days what most people do is just to add pressure add pressure on people trying to make them to save their lives so that they can be socially accepted or so they can be able to fit in and please the society it's so unfair it's so bad we really need to stop this and the worst part of everything they guy they didn't just end it he went as far as dragging fantastic people's innocent children saying that they're in the south and it will affect them in the future like really you are now god that determines people's future so if they cannot speak english that means they don't have future when did english start defining people i don't get it so if you don't know how to speak english you will not have any future oh my god okay what of other countries other countries that don't speak english italy they don't speak english and yet most of all those celebrities in all over the world they come to their country and patronize all their brands all the quality brands both cars ferrari gucci and all that name them they are all made by italians and still they don't speak english and one good thing about them is they don't even give a fuck about the english language they don't care they don't bother learning the language they don't. They are so proud of their language. Unlike us Africans, we are not proud of what we have. We always prefer things that the Westerners have or what they do more than our own. Why then they can never, never too blue to want whatever we have? Neither would they even try speaking our own accent or learning our language. They can't try it. Okay, mounting pressures on people, bringing people down. What do you get by doing that? What do you get? <laughs> it's so bad. We really need to stop all this. We really need to stop all this and stop putting people down. If you are watching somebody's video, try to see the good in the person. Try to overlook the mistakes because we all will make mistakes. Nobody is above mistakes. Even um the even professors in English make mistakes. They are not perfect. Because it's understandable. It's justifiable. English is not our language. It's not our language. That we know how to speak English is a bonus. It's a bonus to us. So you don't use it to justify people. And it doesn't define anyone. It's so bad. It's so bad that we are the ones doing ourselves. Now we they do ourselves. Now we. Now we they do ourselves. See, we keep loving government. Our country is not good. This, 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 this is not good. After complaining, they still make you the president tomorrow. You do worse than the government. Because the change starts within. If you can go about trolling, trolling your fellow Nigerian over language that is not our own. What is worse than that? Putting her down without being considerate over language that is not our own. You can imagine. Now, so many people are out there faking their lives, doing all manner of things just for them to fit in, for them to belong, so that society will accept them. And those pressures are coming from all of us, directly or indirectly. The pressures are coming from us. If you don't do a particular thing that is trending, ah, you yeah. are written off. You are awkward, awkward. You are a villager. Let me ask you. Are you not from a village? Or is it that because you are living in, is it America or whatever country you are living in, that means you are automatically from that place. <laughs> Sorry for you. Because one day, <laughs> if time is not taken, they will send you packet. They will send you packet. Because where you are is not where you are from. We all have where we are coming from. It's even good that, yes, despite the fact that Fantastic Fever is in Italy, she did not forget where she's coming from. She still knows where she's coming from. That makes her an intelligent woman. And that makes her smarter. Smarter than you that thinks that maybe you found yourself in America, Britain, and all those countries, and you feel that you've arrived. You feel that 
No, this is my place. You don't know where you come from again. You don't know where you're coming from again. Shame on you. Shame on you. So guys, we ought to stop this. We really have to. We really have to stop this. We have to stop shaming people. Stop putting people down. Stop pressurizing people. Let them be. Let them live their life and do what makes them happy. If you think her envy sucks, you don't like the way she speaks, don't subscribe. And stop watching. It's as simple as that. Because nobody is forcing you to comment or watch her videos. Nobody is doing that. So why are you now making it look as if she has to change her way of life? She has to enroll in an English lessons just to please you. You. Then you'll be happy. <laughs> Sorry for you. Yeah, you went as far as also comparing her with your wife. You can do that to your wife and not to someone else's wife. You succeeded in doing that to your wife. But come on, you can't do that to someone else. So just stop this madness. Let's just stop this. Let's stop pressurizing people. Let's stop putting people down unnecessarily. We all are different and unique in our own special way. You don't expect anybody to live this person's life or be this person. Because tomorrow, if she starts acting like some other person, you will still bash her. You will still throw her. You will still say that she's faking her life. She's trying to be like this person. So why comparing her? It's so sad, honestly. It's so sad. It's not like um, we are the only ones that don't speak English. It's not like every other country in the world speaks English. Maybe Nigeria is the only country that doesn't speak English. There are so many countries in this world that don't speak English. And they are doing well. Check out, for instance, check out China. China is doing well. They don't speak English. And today, China is America's worst nightmare. Because they never believe that China will get to the heights they are today. And they don't start mimicking or emulating uh, Americans or the Westerners trying to live like them and be like them. Or put themselves down. Now everybody wants to be Oibo. Everybody wants to act like Oibo. Speak like Oibo. Sound like Oibo. Act like Oibo. Come on. Come on. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. Things are getting so... Everything is just getting so bad. It's getting out of hand. Because I, I, I just pity our coming generation, our future generations. At least now there is even little of our culture that we know. But our future generation, I'm so scared. I'm scared for them. Because I don't think the way we are going, I don't think they will have anything left. Any trace of our culture or way of life. They will know. It's so bad. So guys, this is all I have to say for this video, guys. Anyway, <laughs> this is this short message is for you, Fantastic Fever. In case if you come across this video, just know that you and you are an amazing woman and you're doing so well for yourself. I'm so proud of you. In fact, I admire the way you are raising your kids. Honestly, I admire the way you are raising your kids. You are so smart and intelligent. Honestly. Neglect whatever they're saying. Because I believe those saying that and commenting that they are haters. And people that are secretly jealous of you. They are jealous of you. They wish they had um, your kind of life. So neglect them. Please, keep being you. And keep being real. Keep Keeping it real. We love you. And we know you are real. Unlike people faking their lives and trying to please the society. We love you. We love you and we appreciate you. We acknowledge all that you are doing. Because your channel has been a blessing to us. To me especially. Your channel has been a blessing to me. Because I have learned so much from your channel. Please, keep it up. Don't mind what people are saying because they will always talk. They will always talk. As long as they are public figure, people will always have opinion about you. They will always say things about you. So neglect them and keep being you. We know the truth. So please keep being you once again. We love you.
and congratulations to you all of your princess congrats welcome beautiful princess long awaited princess welcome so guys please if you don't know who fantastic people is try and check her out i will leave the link to this particular video that she made that i'm addressing that i just addressed on this video in the description box go check it out watch it and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up like my video you are free to share sharing is always allowed share 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 that will be all for this video guys bye my amazing people and see you all in my next video ciao ciao